we saw what are electrovalent compounds but what are its properties we have to think when i said that they have a very strong force of attraction they held the whole together two ions and that is why they are quite hard so first property of electrovalent compound they are hard they are solid now you all have seen sodium chloride when we use at home they are solid and they are hard but this is this hardness is due to the force of attraction which is very strong between a cation and an anion now as i said this electrovalent compounds are hard and solid but if i take a lump of salt in my hand and i just put it down yeah i throw it it will break into small pieces what does it mean it means that this electrovalent compounds are brittle brittle is a thing which when it can break under pressure or if i throw it down now third property which identifies the ionic compounds or electrovalent compounds is it is having a very high melting and boiling points now why it will have a high melting and boiling points the simple logic logical answer is it will require large amount of energy to break those force of attraction because as i said force of attraction is very strong in ionic compounds so third property we can say that it has high melting and boiling point fourth property you all have taken salt in your in your homes if i dissolve that salt in water will it dissolve you will say yes that means most of the electrovalent compounds are easily soluble in water so fourth property we can say that it is soluble in water what happens when i put salt in water salt is made up of sodium chloride so in water when it goes the sodium ions and chlorine ions are separately present as ions and that is why it can easily dissolve in water but can this salt be dissolved in kerosene or petrol no because kerosene or petrol is a covalent compound and that is why a carbon compound so this electrovalent compounds are soluble in water but not soluble in covalent compounds now if i take a salt solution and pass electricity through it what will you say does it conduct electricity have you ever tried it it is very easy to pass electric current through salt solution what does it tell us about the property the property which is tell us is that it is a good conductor of electricity these are the properties of electrovalent compounds which we have just studied taking the example of salt and magnesium chloride today we are going to study where the metals are occurring in our own surroundings are they in free state or any combined state there are some metals as we had mentioned earlier that who are very very unreactive like gold silver platinum they generally occur in their free state but do all metals occur in free state no they can combine with carbon they can can combine with oxygen they can combine with sulfide to form their different ores now what are these ores carbonate ores sulfide ores oxide ores and also they occur in free state i am using the word ores what is ore ore is nothing but the minerals from which we are going to extract the metals so how to extract the metals we have to follow some process 
where the metals can be extracted in their pure form and this is called as metallurgy. So what is metallurgy? Metallurgy is a process in which metals are extracted from their ores in their pure form. But these things are present in the earth's crust. Will they come out as carbonate ores just like that? No, they will be mixed with number of impurities like sand, gravel, stones, other oxide forms. So all these impurities together are called as gangue. G-A-N-G-U-E. This gangue has to be first removed and then only the process of extraction can take place. 